Okay, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. First, I, I can't say hello to everybody. We've got quite a few people on here, but I just wanna say if, hello to a few people that I see that have gotten signed up. So good morning and welcome, Anthony and Ava and Catalina and We've got Yvette and Joyce and Chris and Laura and Nancy and Patricia and Suzanne, just to name a few. So thank you all for being here. We appreciate you taking the time to join us for this webinar. My name is Tim Denbo. I am the president and CEO of Virtual Tour Cafe, and I am so pleased that you are here to join us, especially on a Monday morning. So thank you so much for being here. In this webinar, we're going to be introducing you, or if you have already used it, maybe we'll be showing you some features that you were or weren't aware of. So we'll be introducing you or showing you some features about the Virtual Tour Cafe and the Easy Auto Tour. And I'm going to be explaining that and explaining how Virtual Tour Cafe works and can help you market your properties. Virtual Tour Cafe, first of all, just a, a little bit of housekeeping or just to kind of let you know how Virtual Tour Cafe is available to you. Virtual Tour Cafe is a member benefit of Space Coast Association of Realtors. So if you haven't already, we encourage you to sign up by going into your Space Coast login and then sign up through the products page of your MLS, go into the MLS, go into the Flex MLS, go into your products page and select Virtual Tour Cafe. It is a free member benefit for you. So we encourage you to sign up for the Virtual Tour Cafe so that you can use this marketing tool and be able to help market your properties. So again, Virtual Tour Cafe is a member benefit. Go ahead and get signed up. There is no additional fee for you to use the basic services of Virtual Tour Cafe. Matter of fact, you are able to use what is called our Platinum service, which is our highest subscription that allows you to create unlimited virtual tours, flyers, and videos. Now, you may or may not be aware that even if you don't have a listing, you can use Virtual Tour Cafe to create a marketing tool or to create a video to help you market properties or create a virtual tour that shows property information and that shows neighborhood information. So use Virtual Tour Cafe as a marketing tool, whether it's simply to create a flyer or a video or a virtual tour to help market yourself and get you listings or whether you've got a listing and you want to use it to help promote that listing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be walking you through some of the different features and benefits of Virtual Tour Cafe and I'm going to be showing you how to set up your account and how to create a virtual tour flyer and video in literally minutes. Uh, matter of fact, it's done automatically for you so it's even quicker than that, but for you to distribute the tour and to take full advantage of it, you might spend a few minutes, okay? Now you can also create a virtual tour without the easy auto tour. As I mentioned, if you don't have a listing and you wanna create a tour, or if you just wanna pull in a tour automatically for whatever reason, maybe it's that you are co-listing with somebody else and it's not showing up automatically in your virtual tour cafe by pulling it uh, or it's uh, you're helping marketing it for somebody else and you need to be able to pull it into your virtual tour cafe so you can do that as well so this is the page that you will start on notice it says welcome and i'm just using a name here kevin fox so kevin is a new user to Space Coast Association and has set up his account by going into the what would look like just a silhouette here. So when you get logged in, if you just see a silhouette and you just see a virtual realty kind of a default logo here, you can click on either one of those to add your own pictures and your own logos. You can also go up to the settings tab. Now there is a little more down on this screen. If you scroll down, there's some notices, tips and tricks. Uh, there's even something there about our coming soon real estate photo services to fix and enhance images to look professional, but that's not what we're going to be spending our time talking about today. What we want to talk about today is how you can create virtual tours, flyers, and videos and market them to the world. 
So you can scroll up and down here to see some of the features and benefits. You can create a first tour here using easy steps one, two, three, but oh, wait a second. It's even easier. We've got the easy auto tour for you. So it's gonna create that automatically. So back to how do you set up your agent account? You can either click on settings and when you go into settings, it's going to give you some options. I'll show you that here in just a moment. You can also just click on your photo where, or the silhouette of where your photo is, and you can choose your file here, find your picture on your computer, your, your profile picture, and you can update it, or you can remove a picture that's there if you've got an old picture and add a new one. Then you can go into your personal information and your My Cafe Gallery, which you don't really need to do anything with, but I'll just show you what that is. Now notice when we're in the agent profile, just by clicking on this silhouette on the home page, it automatically took us into the settings tab. So just to kind of familiarize you with how the Virtual Tour Cafe screen is designed, you've got a series of pages or tabs on the top of the screen here, and you can click any one of them to go to that page. And when you're on a page, such as we're on the settings tab right now, it's going to show you a submenu or a menu down here right below the top picture. That menu may or may not have a slider bar if there's more menu items than can be seen by the naked eye. So you can scroll across and you can see all the different things here in the settings menu. You can add your own YouTube channel if you have one. You can add a newsletter form if you're using AWeb or Pop a Note, things like that. You can connect to your social networking so that when you want to post a virtual tour or even a virtual marketing tool to get more listings, you can post it to your Facebook and your Twitter and your LinkedIn. You can change background music defaults. You can change your tour theme, panoramas, slideshows, all these different things. But right now we're on the agent profile. So we've uploaded our picture. We can go to the personal information and under the personal information, you can update or change anything you want to here. Now I wanna point out something about the username and password. So you'll see that the username is automatically by default going to be your email. And the password is just a auto-generated password that's created by our system. You can change those things. However, I just want you to be aware that you don't even need to know your username or password because with the Space Coast Association and with the Flex MLS, we use a tool called SSO. That means single sign-on. So when you're in your Space Coast and you go into your Flex MLS, once you've signed in or signed up for Virtual Tour Cafe through the products page, remember it's a free member benefit, then you will be able to go into Virtual Tour Cafe from that products page without having to know your username or password. It, the system already knows who you are by just being logged in to the Space Coast and the Flex MLS. So don't worry about your password and username, <clears throat> excuse me, unless you want to or need to for any reason. Now, if you need to change your email address, that does happen from time to time. If you do need to do that, you can do that in here. Be sure to update Virtual Tour Cafe with your new email if you do change your email, your mobile phone number, any credentials, agent profile, you can put a paragraph of information in here. So if you wanna tell people a little bit about you on the virtual tour, you can do that. Now notice we do have two options here, auto tour and update images. Now I want you just to be aware of these. You probably won't need to change them, but for whatever reason, if you want to, the option is here. Virtual Tour Cafe automatically turns on your auto tour, which is the easy auto tour, meaning anytime you get a listing and you create a new listing on your Flex MLS, and you have an account with Virtual Tour Cafe, so you've taken advantage of the free member benefit and you've signed up for Virtual Tour Cafe, our system will automatically recognize the new listing and pull it into Virtual Tour Cafe, creating a virtual tour, a flyer, and a video for you. And it will send you an email telling you that it's already been created for you. So unless you don't want that to happen, leave this auto tour turned on. If for a, whatever your reasons you don't want that, then you can turn that off. Now what is 
update images. When Virtual Tour Cafe first sees your listing and it pulls in all those pictures in the order that they are in the MLS, you may or may not want to reorder them on the virtual tour. You may rearrange them. You may decide to add some pictures, delete some pictures, rearrange pictures. Well, the update images being on means that any time that your MLS listing changes pictures, that you reorder them, that it re removes or changes or uh, you reorder them on the MLS, it's going to automatically reorder them the next time it updates it on the virtual tour. So if you like that and you just want to change the order on your MLS and you don't want to add different pictures or do different things on the virtual tour, leave that on. If you would rather be able to manipulate and change the order on the virtual tour and not have it update those when you change them in the MLS, leave turn that off, okay? And then update when you make any change to either of these. Okay, so that's the personal information page. The My Cafe Gallery, you really should not need to make any changes to. This is where we create a link, a website page that has all of your virtual tours in one place. We call it the My Cafe Gallery. So it'll be virtualtourcafe.com slash mycafegallery and then your name. Now, if there are more than one Kevin Fox, it's going to have a one or a two or a three or something else at the end. If you want to change this link name, you can do that. Just be sure that you do not include any special characters or spaces. It needs to be just alphanumerical characters and no spaces. This is an inventory button that you can copy and you can paste this on in your website to have your my Cafe Gallery embedded in your website. So you can use this inventory button code and you would give it to your developers or your website manager to input or add into your website. Okay, so that's all about the agent profile. Let's look at the company information. If we click on company information, this is where you can add your logo. Now, if you are a member of one of many different brokerages that we have a logo already in our system for, you can uh, select from this list. There are dozens and dozens of different options for you. If you find the one that matches your brokerage, go ahead and select that. Or you can choose a file from your computer and upload your logo directly. Now, this is the company logo that should be about an inch or two square. The more square it is, the better for our system. So just to be aware of that, 150 by 150 pixel is the actual technical term that we use, but that's about an inch and a half by about an inch and a half square. Okay, now it doesn't have to be exactly that, but it does need to be at least a minimum 150 pixel. And if you don't have that, it will tell you and then you may need to just have somebody in your graphics department or let us know if you need some help getting your logo uploaded. We're happy to help you. Now the banner is different from a logo. The logo, just so you know, is really only used on your flyers and a few places like that. It's not on your virtual tour. Your virtual tour is going to use the banner. The banner is about nine inches wide by about an inch and a half tall. Now that actually is um, customizable, meaning that you can create your own banners, or if you have a company banner, you can upload that by choosing file or using one of the many different banners that we have if you are a member of one of these brokerages. Now, if you're not and you don't have a custom banner and you need a banner, let us know and we may be able to help you with that too, okay? When you're done making these changes, simply update and it will update your information. Same thing with agent profile, you have company information. And this is where we're going to store your office phone number, your website, if you have a fax, some people have uh, still faxes or they might use a digital fax, your zip code, your state, your address, all of that information is here under the company information. Now remember I mentioned that there are other, many other settings options. We are in the settings menu and we're looking under the settings. There's default email and phone options. What do we mean by that? Well, we mean if you want to use these services 
on different things such as your phone uh, switches or turns on your phone uh, being visible in different places as well as your default email options being visible on the tour or the video or the my cafe gallery or the flyer not everybody wants the email on the flyer so we turn it off by default and again you have these options that's the reason we called our company virtual tour cafe because you have a cafe or a series of menu options that you can choose from we want you to be able to customize your virtual tour and your marketing experience so that you can create virtual tours and marketing tools that match your needs. Preferences allows you to change the brightness, the saturation, the color balance on your images by default, meaning that every time you upload images, it's going to automatically adjust the brightness, contrast, and lightness as you want it to. So if you're always taking pictures that are a little too dark, you might want to increase the brightness just a little. Try it out, see if it works for you or helps you if you've got some pictures that may be a little too dark or you want to have a little more contrast. These changes will apply to all of your pictures every time you upload photos. If you want to change an individual image, we also have a tool for that. So don't worry, you can just do it on one image at a time if you'd like as well. Now remember, there's so many different options here, we're not gonna have time to go through everything, but I do wanna show you a couple of them, like the themes default and the background music. We have two different themes that you're going to use, or you have two different themes that you're going to want to use. You have a flyer theme and a tour theme. The flyer theme, you have over two dozen options to choose from. Now you'll notice that these are both color differences. Each one is a different color, but you'll also notice some logos and some branding on these. Help You Sell, Home Life, Realty World, Long and Foster, some of them Blue Lagoon. Um, all of these are just color themes. So if you want to use the dark gray and some almost blackish and gray like the Remax collection, you can use that even if you're not a member of the Remax collections or Remax or same thing with Sotheby's or Cornish, Cornish and Kerry uh, commercial. Now Life's a Beach, hey, we're all part of that team, right? So look at these themes as color themes, not don't be fixated or don't be thinking that just because this is called exit you don't have to be a member of the exit brokerage you can use this theme regardless of your brokerage affiliation okay once you make a selection with the little radio button right next to it there you will save that and notice it says here that these are not these are just color designs you can use your own banner and you can use your own uh, co uh, whichever color theme that you want to here now the flyer themes, you may want to just leave as the default until you've tried out the different flyer themes. We don't show you the flyers in the, uh, in the uh, themes default here, but you can try the different themes, flyer one, two, three, four for single-sided, and flyer five, six, seven, eight for two-sided. Once you find one that you really like the best, simply change it to that flyer, and if you want branding on it, you can do that as well by choosing one of these brandings. If you don't want that branding, don't worry, it won't use that any branding at all, okay? So just go ahead and go through these. The background music options is where you can choose the background music. Some people think that just the background music that automatically plays is the only option that you have. We've got over 50 different choices for you. You can choose any of these music options. Smiles all around the world. Smiles all around. Or you can go to the beautiful life. A little funky kind of music here. You can go to Four Seasons. How about the Garage Band? Now, these may not be, you may not be able to hear these, I'm not sure. Uh, it depends on whether I have my settings set correctly or my speaker and that. But if you can't, just go in there and try it out yourself. Everything from some punk uh, to uh, rocking around the world to some more basic 
cloudy clouds below and clouds above and flying high okay once you find something you like you just save it and you will have that as your option social networking is where you can authorize a virtual tour cafe to post to your Facebook to your Twitter to your LinkedIn and your Pinterest so go ahead and set up your social networking if you'd like to be able to post to those as well okay so this is your settings menu it's under settings I don't want to spend any more time on it today but I just want you to be aware of where that is now if you ever want to just get back to where you started in the very beginning when you first logged in just click on the logo here or the my cafe either one of those are going to take you back to the home page or to this starting place where you started so you've just created your account you've got your your company information set up over here and you've got your agent information set up and you're ready to get started well guess what you don't have to do anything if you don't want to because the next time you create a listing it's going to automatically pull that in and create a virtual tour flyer and video and it's going to send you an email that says we've automatically created a flyer video and tour for you and it's going to even give you the link so that you can view the virtual tour if everything looks good it even gives you the links to be able to post it immediately to realtor.com and to be able to post it to YouTube and Vimeo and AOL video and about a dozen different video sites so you could literally not log into your account whatsoever after you've got it all set up and we will create virtual tours flyers and videos for you and you can post it to realtor.com you can use that link and you can put it on Zillow or truly or wherever you want to I know there's a lot of um, uh, different opinions on uh, different types of real estate sites that you may or may not want to put your virtual tour listing on that's really up to you with virtual tour cafe it's all your option so we give you that ability to make those choices yourself so let's go ahead and go in and we're going to look through some of these different menu options and look at once a video a virtual tour has been created what do you do with it then and how do you make changes and utilize all the different features that we have and then I also want to show you how you can create a tour yourself using our image pull from your MLS manually so to speak or whether where you can also just create a tour with pictures from your computer as well so again we have these menus across the top don't ever hesitate to contact us please we are available for you if you go to the support we are uh, available almost 24 7 uh, you can email us at you know any time of day and as soon as we can it may not be instant but we will get back to you as quickly as we possibly can uh, our hours are from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. Pacific time, but we do respond to emails as soon as we possibly can when we see those even outside of our hours. Uh, we are also uh, available to you. Uh, if you call us, email us, we're available. So just let us know how we can be of help. If you'd like hand holding and walking you through some different features or how to do something or just how to get started, please just let us know. We're happy to help. When you go into the support tab, you'll also notice that we have what's called a help center. If you go into the Help Center, you will find all sorts of training that's available to you through the Help Center. You can go to the Getting Started, and you can find Getting Started topics that will help you getting started. You can go into Advanced Features, and you can look at how to add voiceover narration, printing or downloading a flyer, adding a panorama, adding video clips. You can go into About Us and see some information about the founders of the company, myself and Hanalei Rintaturi. So all of this is available to you, and you can get that help, or you can submit a request, or you can, uh, don't worry about sign in, that's just for me because I'm the administrator of it and others here. So be aware that all of this is available to you under the support tab. We do have some preferred vendors if there's some other services that you'd like to use and we will be adding soon some new services one of them will be the ability of ordering print flyers and postcards and just listed and all sorts of things that will be available to you uh, there are some uh, those are additional services not part of the 
uh, main service, but they will be available to you. So just be aware that those things are there as well. So let's go ahead and, and look at when a tour is created for you. So we have a, a tab here called Image Sets. Now we have Image Sets, Tours, Flyers, Videos. Those are the main four tabs or pages uh, that you'll want to be working with. Now My Cafe, or the logo here, will take you to your home page. The settings, of course, is where you're making setting changes, preferred vendors to see some other options, and the support tab. But the main four that are going to be helping you create virtual tours, flyers, and videos are right here. Now, you don't go to tours to create a tour. You don't go to flyers to create a flyer. You don't go to videos to create a video. You always go to image sets to create an image set that will create all of these for you automatically, and then you can go in and make editing changes if you'd like to. So I'd like to just first start by explaining that everything in Virtual Tour Cafe is what's called image-centric, meaning that all of the marketing tools that we're creating for you, flyers, videos, tours, they're all focused around your images. So image sets really is like your main page where you're going to be creating, managing, editing, distributing the, the, all of these tools that are available to you. Now, under image sets, you'll notice that there's an actions menu and a distribute menu. The actions menu is where you can create image sets. You can edit these image sets. You would first select an image set and then create select edit image set. You can duplicate. Let's say that you have a property that you have four different units in the same property, or you sell one unit in a property and you come back a while later and you have another unit for sale in the same property. Well, you can duplicate that image set, change the MLS number, change the price, whatever it is that you need to, and you can create that very quickly and easily. However, again, our system will automatically create a new tour for you if you have the easy auto tour set up. So this one was just created here, and notice that if you scroll down, you'll see all the different image sets that you have under your account. And then there'll be different pages once you've created quite a few of those that you can go down to on the bottom of the page or anywhere along here where you see first page, next page, last page. These are all your image sets. Each image set is a different property. So notice the addresses and the titles each image set, now we may have duplicated ourselves here just for demonstration purposes, but each one of these would be a separate property. So now let's say that you just signed up for Virtual Tour Cafe, you got all your agent information and all that set up, and you had a new listing tomorrow, automatically our system is going to create that virtual tour for you. Well, you come into your virtual tour and you take a look at it and you say, you know what, I think I want to add a video. So you add a video to that tour, and so now you have that tour with a video. Whenever you see this little video icon, it means that there is a video in the first position or the very first image or thing that's going to play in the, uh, the very first media that's going to play in the virtual tour is going to be a video. If it shows a picture, you may still have a video inside that virtual tour, but it's not the very first media or the first thing that's going to be playing. So let's just take this as an example, and let's go ahead and click on Edit Image Set. When we click on Edit Image Set, you'll see that here are all the pictures, all the images that were automatically brought in by just doing nothing, by having the Easy Auto Tour pull those images in for you automatically, and then we simply added a video to the virtual tour. Now, the virtual tour has images not in the order you want. For instance, if you added a video and you don't want it as the first image, you can move it over, make it the second image. You can move it down, make it the fourth image. You can drag and drop images anywhere you want on this image set screen. Now, if you want the images rearranged for all of your services, we call them services. So if you want the images rearranged for the tour, the flyer, the video, for all of them, then do it in the image set screen. If you want to rearrange images just for the tour and leave flyers and videos alone, then you would rearrange them in the tour screen or the flyers or the videos. Each one of those you can manipulate. You can manage them individually of the others. So be aware of that. So now you'll also notice that there's sound and include in MLS tour on off. What this allows you to do is first of all, if your video 
has its own sound, then you can turn this on so that we, your viewers will hear the sound coming from the video, not just the background music. If you want to have the video included in the MLS when it posts the virtual tour to the MLS, then toggle this switch to on. By default, we have that off in case your video has any images of you or an agent's information or anything that would break branding rules by a lot of MLSs. Uh, you want to be sure that you're cautious of that. So we give you that option of whether you want that video to be included in the MLS tour. It'll always show up in the branded tour. And yes, our system does create a MLS and a branded tour so that the MLS tour automatically is going to your your MLS listing and the branded tour is the link we're going to send you that you can use to use anywhere else realtor.com Zillow Trulia Hotpads uh, any of those different sites that you want to post your virtual tour on and have branding included branding is agent information company information all of that is part of the branding so let's go ahead and go into the tours tab and show you some of the things that, first of all, let's just see what this tour looks like. So we've just pulled this in. We simply added a video to it after it was added and we're going to view this tour. We've done nothing else. We've not rearranged images. We haven't changed any information. All we've done is let the Easy Auto Tour create this tour for us and added a video to it. If we select it and then click view tour, you'll be able to see what this tour looks like. Now you notice we have the video playing in the first position. So the first thing that people see is the video. Your branding, if you have your uh, banner across the top, notice it's uh, uh, just a default banner right now, but you can add your own banner. All of the menu options here. If you don't hear music, there is music playing. <laughs> So there, there's background music as well. You can, if you're the viewer, you can turn off that background music and you can also pause the, the virtual tour from playing if, you're, if you get a phone call or something else. If you're the viewer, you're a potential buyer, you can also paste it on your own Facebook or Twitter. So notice that the background music played through the video and remember that's where if you turn on the video mute sound that it would have played the videos sound if there was talking or if you had your own music or something else on the video and you wanted that to play instead so now notice here on the screen you can also go to any of these menus and i want to show you some different features such as the gallery if you click on the virtual tour and you're in the middle of a video, you want to change it back to um, the, the um, images to be able to see the gallery uh, view. On the property information, so notice here when I click it, it's just uh, going to a blank there because that's where the video is. Just click on a different picture on underneath here and you'll see these are the gallery images. And if you have the images titled, you'll see what it is, large island kitchen. You'll have stainless appliances. All of these are the titles that were brought in automatically from your MLS. Notice, we have not done anything to this. All we've done is brought it in from the MLS automatically through the Easy Auto Tour, added a video to it, and now we can view all of these images through the gallery. There's also a Google Maps on the bottom here. You can scroll in, you can use the satellite view. All of this is built directly in and it's done automatically for you. When you wanna go back to the virtual tour, simply click on the view tour. If you wanna to go to the detail prop, this is property information where it's gonna show all the information, your description. This description was brought in from the MLS. All this information was brought in from the MLS. All of this is done automatically for you. If you look at amenities, it's going to have the amenities that we were able to identify from your MLS listing. If you look at printable flyer, the flyer is already done. There's nothing you need to do additional to create the flyer. It's automatically created for you. And I'll 
I'll change it to this just so uh, the music isn't playing. <laughs> so you don't get distracted from that or, or it's hard to hear me maybe. So under the age, the contact, there's agent information. Contact agent, we give the uh, potential buyer the ability of contacting you, scheduling an appointment with you. Uh, looking at, remember I mentioned the My Cafe Gallery where it shows all of your virtual tours on one page. This is your URL where all your virtual tours are gonna be shown in one place. So this allows you to market all your virtual tours so people can see them in one location. That URL is created automatically for you. Under the uh, My Website, we're gonna to link to your website. So you get people linking directly to your website. It, that's great for search engine optimization. It helps to have more listings or more connections, I should say, more websites and more connections coming to your website. So that's a great tool to have, as well as the contacting you, map view, aerial view, mortgage calculator, walk score, area schools, and you can even let people share the virtual tour with their friends and their family. So all of these are the menu items on the top of the screen. Your contact information is down below with your mobile and your office, the price of the, of the listing, the address, some basic information, all of this is part of the default virtual tour or website listing in a sense. It's almost like a single property website and you can even go to full view with all of your images. So if you want to have a full view or escape to go back to the smaller view and the same thing with when you're watching the virtual tour. When somebody is watching the virtual tour, if they want to go to the full screen as well, they can do that. So you've got all of these capabilities built into the virtual tour screen. So now here we are back on the, on the uh, tours tab. And the same thing, if you look at one without the video on the first image, you can select this, view the tour, and you'll notice that the very first image is a picture. And then it's going to go to a video because we've moved that video to a different location just to demonstrate some different ways of using a video, you can have little video clips of the kitchen area, a little video introduction. The videos need to be under 50 megabytes in size, which should give you plenty of room to create a short video to be able to add to the virtual tour. Now you can also just go to one where we've, let, let's look at how we can just pull in and what it really looks like. So you see that there's uh, nothing up the sleeve with how you create a virtual tour flyer and a video automatically. So I'm gonna use the create image set, but if you'll just kind of follow with me to see under the image set, if I click on the import MLS data and images, I'm going to put it in an MLS number and it's going to act the same as it would with the easy auto tour. It's gonna to pull all the information automatically but we're gonna do it by putting in the MLS number. Now you can do that as well, and this is here for you, where you can import just the MLS data, or you can import the data and the images. This is where you can also browse and add your own pictures, videos, and panoramas. So if you don't have a listing and you wanna create a marketing tool, you wanna to create a just a video or a marketing virtual tour, you can use that you can create your own image set from your computer information. Don't put anything in the property information if it's not a property, but we're going to just put in import MLS right here and put in an MLS number. So we'll put in 791-475 just as a MLS number that is out there right now. We're just going to use this as a demonstration. It's checking to see if that property is out there and already it's telling us that your import has completed, add any additional images, videos, panoramas, and click save. Now this is the difference between if you use the Easy Auto Tour, you would add the video afterwards, or if you're doing it manually by importing from the MLS data and images, you can add that video right now simply by clicking on video, click on the plus, and find that video on your computer. If you have panoramas you wanna add, you can click on panoramas, click on the plus and add panoramas. So you have three different types of media that you can add. We also allow you to add 3D, uh, the Matterport 3D, if you're a photographer or if you're office or if you are using the Matterport 3D, I'll show you how to add that as well. 
So notice that it says click on the save on the bottom of the screen once you've added anything else that you want to. Well, if we don't want to add anything else, and this is what I'm replicating here, is the same way that the easy auto tour would work. We're just going to click on save without making any other changes whatsoever. Notice it says, please wait, your pictures are being uploaded. So we wait just a minute or maybe sometimes just 15 or 20 seconds, and it's going to pull all those images, and it's going to create a virtual tour flyer and video for you just like this. So now here are all the images, nothing up the sleeve, it's all done automatically. If you were not even to do this manually like I just did and just let the system do it automatically through the Easy Auto Tour, it would look exactly the same. All the images would be in the order that they were from your MLS listing. All the titles would be here just like they are in the MLS listing. Now, if you want to move something around, maybe you want to move something from one position to another, uh, to the top, or maybe you like uh, this view of the house, front of the house instead of the one that's there on the first view, whatever it is, you can drag and drop and move these anywhere you want to. If you don't want these numbers on the end that are coming from your MLS, simply click in this title box and you can change these. So you can just edit these, you can, maybe you want to change it completely and say, you know, front of house with welcome entryway or welcome entry or welcome anything you want and be sure to save it when you're done so when you save it you're saving all of these changes to the captions or the image titles and then you can we call them captions and then you can also rearrange them and save that rearranging okay so once you've made any changes that you want you can go into property information if you want to make any changes in the property information that has been pulled in automatically from the virtual tour. So just be aware that this is pulling it in from your virtual, from your MLS. And if you want to make any changes, you can change that. You can change whatever features are here, the bathrooms, the bedrooms, the part, if there's some additional parking spaces and it didn't get pulled in from the MLS, garage size, if that wasn't pulled in from the MLS, all of this can be changed directly in the virtual tour, the pricing, the location, all of this information. Now, don't worry about, um, you know, making any changes unless you want to. So all of these things are optional. You can add documents with lead captures, such as maybe you want to add a neighborhood newsletter. Maybe you want to add your own flyer or something that you want people to be able to see, but you're going to get lead capture, meaning Every time they download or request to download this document, it's going to require that they put in their email and their name so that you will receive an email saying, hey, John Smith just downloaded your neighborhood news. So that's all part of our system to be able to have lead capture, add documents and forms, change any of this information, and save it when you're done. I didn't save it because I don't want to change anything, but this will allow you to make all those changes. Now in the image sets tab, we have the property information, the amenities where you can go in and make changes to your amenities. If you have different amenities that you want to add or remove later on, once you've had the virtual tour out there, you can look at a traffic report. You can look at the panoramas or add panoramas. All of this is here for you. But let me just go into the Tours tab and let's look at, this is the tour that we just created. Now, if you just want to view this tour, let's first of all activate it. Now, if this were an easy auto tour, it would automatically allow you to activate it from the email that we send you. So it's all easily done directly from the email that we send you. You don't even have to be logging into your account. So we're going to, since we've done this in the system, we're going to activate that so that we, so that it's visible, so I can show it to you. Now just be aware that activating it doesn't distribute it and send it out to the world. You do that through the tour, through the image set distribute menu 
you don't do that just by activating it. So don't worry about activating it and thinking that now instantly it's going to be visible to everybody because you still need to choose who you want to be able to view this. Now again, with the Easy Auto Tour, you can write there on the email, you can approve it, and you can post it to realtor.com, and you can use the link, and you can do everything right there automatically. When you're creating it inside a virtual tour cafe like this, you need to tell it that you want it to be active, and then you need to distribute it. So let's go ahead and view this tour that we just pulled in automatically through the system, similar to Easy Auto Tour. So automatically, the virtual tour is created. <clears throat> Excuse me. The background music is going to be whatever background music you selected as your default. The tour theme is going to be whatever you selected as your default. So that's where you want to have your default set correctly for what you want. It's automatically pulled in the description, the pricing, all the information, the map. If we go to the details and go to printable flyer, it's automatically created the flyer for us. So just like that, without doing anything, just by having an account with Virtual Tour Cafe, you've created a virtual tour flyer and video all automatically simply by having an account and having it easy auto tour created through your MLS listing. Now let's go ahead and look at some additional things that we can do if we're in the tours tab and we want to select one of these tours and we want to edit that tour. You can also double click, by the way, just a little shortcut. If you double click on a tour, it's going to take you automatically into the edit your virtual tour mode. In the edit your virtual tour, you can then in the tours tab, so notice we're on the tours tab, we can make additional changes. We have a full editor inside of the tour screen, which will allow you to edit this tour by changing saturation, the color, the brightness, the color balance. You can even rotate the image. You can crop the image. We've got a lot of editing that you can do right here inside the image editor inside of your virtual tour screen. So you can just make changes to any of these using that pencil. If you look underneath the image, you'll see three little radio buttons. You can change the font, the font size, and the color of the text, the caption, that shows up in the image in the virtual tour. So this is your caption settings. You can determine where that caption is located, at the top of the image, in the middle of the image, or on the bottom of the screen. You can also change whether you, we use Ken Burns effect on your tour and on each image individually. So Ken Burns is the movement effect. It almost makes the virtual tour look like it's a video by moving the images left, right, up, down, zoom in, zoom out. We use very slight Ken Burns effects, meaning that each image just moves a little bit left, right, up, down, in, out, in random orders automatically. Now, if you don't want Ken Burns on on the entire tour, turn it off up here where it says use Ken Burns effect on this tour. Turn that to off and save it. If you just want to change any individual image to not using Ken Burns or using Ken Burns, you can toggle this switch to on and off. So these are toggle switches on and off. When you toggle that off, it's going to refresh the screen because now it's been turned off. And if you go and you look at each image, now they're all off. So be sure that you understand whether you want to turn on or off Ken Burns for the entire tour, that's just this one tour, or whether you want to turn it on or off for an individual image, okay? So these are all controls that you have within the tours screen. Now this is just one thing. You can also rearrange the order of images and it will only affect the virtual tour, not the flyer or the video, and vice versa. When you're in flyers, it will only affect the flyer. Now, we've got some things here, but let's look at some of these other menus. Under the basic menu, you can change the background music, or you can change the menu options that are on the tour. You can add tour narration. You can go in and edit your property information or amenities. You can add an open house announcement, which will tell people when your open house is. 
it says not available because you haven't added any. So you would simply click on the date, select a date that you want for the virtual for the open house, and then you can select that uh, what time you want it to be. Um, changing this here to what time you want it to end and save it. So we're, we don't need to save it. We're not going to actually do it. Well, we can save it. We're, we'll still delete this tour at the end here because we're using somebody else's listing. So we will delete this when we're done. But notice it's added that open house announcement for the virtual tour. And you'll see this open house announcement on the virtual tour. You could add multiple open houses. So if you have an open house coming up for the next two or three weekends or two or three different days, you can add that to the virtual tour. So we've got that available for you. You can add a newsletter form. That's using, if you have Papa Note or Aweber, a different newsletter, you can add that. And then people will be able to subscribe to your newsletter directly from the virtual tour. Now we also have some advanced features. If we click on advanced, you'll see that you can ch change the tour theme. You can add or change the company banner. You can add a co-listing agent. You can add floor plans. You can add panoramas. Uh, a slideshow editor allows you to edit all of your images in one place where you can select which image you want to be editing. This is our slideshow editor. You can change the length and the speed of the, the images, how long they're playing. You can change brightness and contrast, saturation, color, and then just double click on a different image and it will let you change all those things for each image just by going through the gallery here and choosing which image you want to work with and making changes to it. This is our built-in slideshow editor. Now, if we go back to the basic menu, you'll see that you have different options here. If we go back to the, the tours uh, screen where we were, where you can see all the individual images, we can go to the basic menu where you see all these. You can go to the advanced menu where we were on the themes and co-listing and floor plans and slideshow editor. You can add additional YouTube links if you've added videos on YouTube and you want to add those into your virtual tour. How about a 3D walkthrough home tour? Now some of you may be familiar with the Matterport 3D. The Matterport 3D allows you to use an embed code and we have added the capability for you to embed that 3D into your virtual tour. So you would use this 3D walkthrough home tour, you would add the embed code, and then your virtual tour would include the 3D. Now I want to show you what that looks like. If we go over here to the flight, to the tours, just go back here because I want to choose a different one. I think I have it on this one. I've added the 3D to one of these here. So let's just view this tour and see if it gives us a 3D. You don't see it here in the top menu, it's not there. So let's go ahead and go back. I'm going to choose a different one. Let's select this one and view tour. And there it is. It'll be very obvious when to your sellers, buyers, anybody that is watching the virtual tour when they're scrolling through here and boom, that just jumps out at them. 3D. If you click on or your buyer, potential buyer clicks on the 3D, it's going to take the entire screen and show the 3D showcase right here inside while still playing your background music. So if you click on the play button right there in the middle of the 3D, it's going to take the viewer into the 3D tour where they can click and walk through this house anywhere they want to. If you haven't seen 3D, it's really cool. And Virtual Tour Cafe has photographers and we're going to be adding some photographers in your area. If you want a photographer to come out and take a 3D and add it into the virtual tour for you automatically, we can do that for you. These are our photographers. Uh, of course, there's additional cost for that, but just want you to be aware. Or if you have your own photographer or if your company uses the Matterport 3D, you can add this into your virtual tour. So it really gives the buyer a way of viewing a property by simply scrolling in, moving this up, down, left, right, all around. And anytime they want to go to a different room, they simply click on it and it zooms them into that room where they can then move around, look at this room from many different directions. 
They can even walk inside a bathroom. They can go up and down stairs. They can even, if the photographer did it, they can walk inside the shower and look at what it's like to be in the shower. There it is. So this is all the Matterport 3D. Now again, just to reiterate, this is not part of the virtual tour unless you, your company, your photographer, your brokerage has a Matterport 3D camera and you've added the Matterport is the company that makes this 3D. Here you go, you can walk downstairs, just walk down and go into the kitchen. There you go. You can look at the look very closely at things like the oven that may not be the best oven to look at but hey they're going to be there at some point so you want them to see it okay so let's just go back to the virtual tour and notice they never left your branding your tour it's all built inside the virtual tour so we want that to be available to you so that you can add the 3d if you want to if you have the option of using the Matterport 3D. So everything in here is available. Some of them are optional. Some of them, most all of these features other than like I said, the 3D where uh, you need to have a photographer that has the 3D, all the flyer, the video, the all of this can be done, all part of your subscription, all part of Virtual Tour Cafe so that you can help market yourself to the world. Now we didn't go into the videos and flyers because let's let's keep in mind the flyer is done for you automatically, but let's go ahead and look at how you can choose different flyers or how you can make editing changes to your flyer. So let's just choose one of these. This is the one we just imported from the MLS. Let's just go ahead and we can edit this flyer. We can view it the way it looks right now. This is the way it is by default. So this is our default flyer and that's because we have the flyer one selected as the default. But we can also go in and we can edit this flyer. And now if you change any of these images, let's say you want um, a different image as the second, third, and fourth. Remember the first image is that main image on the top. If you wanted a different image as that main image on the top, simply rearrange the images. And it's gonna be on this flyer, there's only four images, three below and one on top. So it's only going to use these first four images. So if you don't want it using this, this image as the second image, simply toggle it to off. Maybe you don't want another one of the front or another one of the front. So you can also just move images and say, okay, I want this one being up here on the top. I want it being right after, I want it to be the second picture and I'm gonna turn that one on. So now this will be the first top picture. This will be the second picture. And maybe I want, um, oh, let's choose one down here near the bottom. Maybe I want this one to be the third image. So I just push the screen up. I just scroll to the top and I'm going to push this image up into a position there where I want it to be. Now, maybe I want it to be here, wherever I want it to be, drop it and turn it on. So that now those are my first four images. Maybe I want uh, this one here to be my next one. So now I've got those four images. Be sure to save it when you've made changes. And remember, I'm not making any change to the virtual tour or the video. I'm only changing the order of these images for the flyer. So now if I view the flyer after making my changes, I've got different images in that position. One, two, three, and four. Now, if you were using a flyer that has more than four images, you could have more than that selected from for your flyer. Just be sure to save whatever changes you make. Now, we do have different themes for the flyer. So if we click on themes, you'll be able to see what the theme looks like in general, just a default view, and you can choose a different. Maybe you like this one. If you like that one, simply save it or maybe you just want to see what it looks like. Click on view, and now here's your flyer using that different theme. Maybe you want to try a different one. Try flyer three. That's this one. Save it and view it. So just like that, you can make changes and create different flyers, all very simply, easily, 
if you save this as your default theme in the settings tab, remember the settings tab where you set your theme defaults, all your tours going forward will automatically use that theme. We don't have time for it today, but you can also edit your flyer and you can make all sorts of changes to the, the title where it shows up, agent information, company information, description. You can even go into the uh, you can even go in and make changes at, in bulleted uh, lists that are on your flyer. We have two-sided flyers, all sorts of options for you, but you just want to get started and use Virtual Tour Cafe, help your marketing, and once you've created a few tours, get in there and play with it if you want to, or give us a call, or go into our support tab and look at all the different kinds of articles that we have on how to create flyers, how to do different things. We've got a lot, a lot, a lot of features and benefits that you can use. We want you to take advantage of Virtual Tour Cafe and use it to help market your properties or help market yourself. If you don't have any listings, use it to market yourself. So we're, we're running out of time. We're really out of time. I want to thank you for being here today. I want you to be aware that it is a free service as a member benefit. Go into your virtual tour, into your uh, Space Coast and the Flex MLS, select under products, virtual tour cafe, get started, try it out, see if it helps your marketing. I really believe it will. We get so many compliments from people that it's helped them market their properties. I hope we can do the same for you as well. So let us know if we can be of assistance. We thank you again for taking the time to be here on a Monday morning, and we wish you the very best 2017 ever. Thank you so much for being here. Email us afterwards let us or call us. Let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to help. Thank you so much. Make it a great day.